Ribbon eel. The ribbon eel, Rhinomurina quasita, also known as the leaf nosed moray eel or Bernice eel, is a species of moray eel. The only member of the genus Rhinomurina. The ribbon eel is found in lagoons and reefs in the Indo Pacific Ocean. Ranging from East Africa to southern Japan, Australia, and French Polynesia. This species is widely distributed and is frequently seen by divers in Indonesian waters, with their heads and anterior bodies protruding from crevices in sand and rubble habitats from very shallow to about 60 meters. Although generally placed in the moray eel family Neurinidae, it has several distinctive features leading some to place it in its own family, Rhinomurinidae. The ribbon eel bears a resemblance to a mythical Chinese dragon with a long, thin body and high dorsal fins. The ribbon eel can easily be recognized by its expanded anterior nostrils. They are well known for their characteristic jaws that are frequently open very widely when a diver approaches. Based on observed color changes, it is generally considered a protandric hermaphrodite, first male, then changing sex to female, although this has yet to be confirmed. Color change related to sex change is not known from any other moray eel species. The presumed juveniles and subadults are jet black with a yellow dorsal fin. In adult males the black is replaced by blue. And adult females are entirely yellow, or yellow with some blue to the posterior. The blue adult males range from 65 to 94 centimeters in length, while the larger yellow females can reach up to 130 centimeters. In captivity, the color differences are not related to maturity or sex. Because most ribbon eels do not live longer than a month in captivity, some feel that this species should never be purchased, except for people with experience in keeping morays in captivity. Ribbon eels have been observed in many cases to stop eating after being captured. Although there are reports of them surviving and eating in captivity for two years or more. Higher levels of success have been achieved in public aquaria, where there are a few reported cases of spawning at facilities in Europe and North America. Although captured for the aquarium industry, it remains common and widespread and is not considered threatened.